Hello beautiful souls, I'm here with the astrology for April and today we're doing Aquarius so check out your sun, moon, rising or Venus um, thank you for your love and support, I really appreciate that if you like my content, subscribe, like and share that would really help my channel grow, really appreciate that check out my deck shop and my Patreon, all the links are down below and the link to my other channel so for the highest light and love of Aquarius I'm using the Good Tarot by the way so for the highest light and love of Aquarius, what do they need to know about April? What do they need to know about April for the highest light and love of Aquarius? We've got the Messenger of Fire. Judgment. Five of Fire. Messenger of Air. So it looks like there's a lot of communication coming in here. Could be a lot of communication coming in over a conflict. We've got the Five of Wands, which is about conflict. So this could be somebody you're in conflict with, maybe. We'll go a bit deeper. Why is the Messenger of Fire there? We've got the Strength card. Page of Earth. Page Ace of Water. And the death card. So I feel this is a message from somebody that you've got a strong connection with here. Um, with the strength card clarifying it. It's a message of passion and desire. And we've got judgment and that can talk about something from the past. Um, being resurrected. And it's clarified by the page of earth. So again another message. Um, could be an apology, um, could be, you know, somebody wanting to connect. And we've got the five, like I said, the conflict, clarified by the Ace of Water. So this is somebody you had love for. Um, yeah, somebody you had love for. And we've got a message of air, so a message of truth. So there's messages, and it could be exchange of messages. And this will transform... Um, a connection maybe or a situation that you were in with the death card okay so let's go a bit deeper why is the messenger of fire there why is the messenger of fire there so we've got the full card so this could be somebody reaching out wanting a new start with you a new beginning or somebody wanting to take a risk here by reaching out and it could be somebody from your past. We have got the sun. And this could make you very happy. Bring you happiness, joy. Because there was a conflict here. And um, with the five of uh, fire. And we've got the chariot. So there's a chance to move forward with this. To resolve this, I feel. Why else is that there? Yeah, page of fire again. Lots of messages. Lots of communication. Um... You know, expressing feelings and expressing truth there. And we've got the king of air. So this could be your energy. Um, you don't have to be a masculine. Or you're connecting with another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But masculine energy, very mature energy. Somebody in their head, in their intellect, rather than in their feelings. Wanting to express a truth here. Somebody wanting to express a truth. And there's a strong connection here. And we've got the Six of Water, Six of Cups. So it is somebody from your past, I feel very strongly. If it's not, it's somebody you knew in a past life that you feel this connection with. And there are communications coming in because somebody sees you as a wish fulfillment. Okay, they see you as the one and they want a new beginning in love here. They want a new beginning in love. So why is the Ace of Water there? Here we've got three of water. Again, that can be a reconciliation card. It can talk about going out, having a good time, socialising. So somebody wants to have a, new, a fresh start here, I feel. And they want to communicate this. And they want to transform this. And we've got temperance. So it's coming into balance. There's been and divine timings at work here, I feel. We've got moon energy. So 
around the next full moon could be significant or it's just that things have been hidden the the truth of what's going on has been hidden here and we've got the eight of fire you know messages again so a lot of communication coming in here i feel a lot of uh, exchange of energy and we've got emperor energy so this is a divine counterpart i feel this is somebody you feel that strong connection with and there's abundance coming in you know in all areas you know with having a relationship a home a family financial stability wow okay let's get the life lessons final messages life lessons messages for aquarius what do they need to know for april wow look at that financial windfall so again there's some money coming in it could be unexpected could be an inheritance could be selling a house could be bonuses money you're owed from work you might get a light bulb moment you know some clarification something's going to make sense the outlook is bright happy times ahead yeah overcoming obstacles you know obstacles maybe in this connection or in your life and there's a brand new start a new beginning take chance to take a leap of faith and we've got Divine Feminine. So we have the Emperor and we've got the Divine Feminine. So it is your counterpart energy. This is your person. So let's get your final angel messages. We've got no need to worry. Helpful people around you. And be assertive, you know, go after what you want here. So I'm going to leave it there. Beautiful messages, love and blessings.